Hey, what's up? This is Scott Talinsky, and today I'm going to give you a quick preview of Drupal 8. Now, in this first video, what we're going to do is we're going to install Drupal 8's beta, and we're going to see how the process differs or is the same from the installation process that you're used to with things like Drupal 7 or even Drupal 6. So we're going to get into that right now by installing Drupal 8's beta. So from Drupal.org, like you would normally come to download Drupal, you'll notice then they now have this uh, Drupal 8 box right here. It says Drupal 8 is in beta. So let's go ahead and click that link right there. It's going to take us to this Drupal 8 release page. Now this page gives you a little bit of information about what comes with Drupal 8, what's changed, uh, and even you can download an infographic to get that. However, we want to get to the code. We want to be able to download and get downloading and installing Drupal 8. So let's click this large image here that says read the release notes and it's going to take us to a page where we have access to download the zip or the tar. Now I've already downloaded this Drupal 8 folder and thrown it into my sites folder. Using Map Pro, I've set up a, uh, a name for it, a host name for it. So whatever method you use for doing that, go ahead and set up your domain using Map, Map Pro or just uh, using Apache on your computer, basically whatever you use. Um, if you don't know how to do that, there are lots of tutorials available for MAMP. Since this is just the uh, beta preview, we're going to skip that step and go right to the installation process. Uh, however, once Drupal 8's you know, actually released, we'll do a more thorough installation video showing you that entire process. So for now, I have my domain set up and it's just uh, D8B standing for Drupal 8 Beta. And if you just browse to your virtual host, it actually uh, takes you, uh, if you don't have this installed, it takes you to slash core slash install dot PHP. So let's go ahead and check out this uh, installation screen. Now this is quite a bit different than what we've seen out of Drupal 8. For one, it actually looks nice. Uh, in Drupal 7, the installation process, a lot of that stuff left a lot to be desired from a visual standpoint. And that sort of maybe scared some people off. Luckily, Drupal 8 has a really nice visual style, so we can click Save and Continue. And then we're going to choose a profile. If you remember from past versions of Drupal, you can have installation profiles, so that much hasn't changed. Let's just click the Standard. And now let's uh, enter our database information. So my database was D8 underscore beta. And since I'm using MAMP, everything should just be root. And let's click save and continue. Okay, it's now installing Drupal. And you'll notice that we didn't have to edit any settings.php files. We didn't have to copy and move any default files. So the installation process for D8 is already just nicer. I mean, there was really some unnecessary steps in the Drupal 7 install that weren't a huge pain. They just were unnecessary. So luckily, Drupal 8 has cleared up those steps for us, and we just have this basic installer like we're used to with something like WordPress or any of these other systems. Okay, we now have Drupal installed, so let's go ahead and configure the site. The site name is going to be D8 Beta, and for email address, I'm going to enter my Scott at Level Up Tuts. And uh, site maintenance account is going to be the admin account. So username, I like using admin. Uh, you might want to use a username that you find preferable. And an email address for that login as well. Now you're going to want to enter a password. Uh, because the site's not going any further than it is, I'm not entering a super strong password here. It's just determined to be fair. But you're going to want to go ahead and enter a strong password, just like if you were setting up any site. Now, uh, you can have it check for updates automatically and receive email notifications. I'm going to uncheck this emails, but leave uh, check updates automatically and click save and continue. After that, we're redirected to our front end with our logged in. We're already logged in. So what you'll immediately notice is that one, this theme looks a lot like Bartik, which we've seen before. Um, in fact, it looks exactly like Bartik, but uh, don't let that deter you. There's been a lot of changes in uh, a lot of 
visual niceties in Drupal 8 that have been added that just weren't there in Drupal 7. So great, that was the installation process for the Drupal 8 beta. Essentially, you download it, you put it in your sites folder, you create your database, and uh, like normal, you visit your host name, and that's going to automatically direct you to install, where you can just follow the steps, enter your information, and now you have Drupal 8 beta installed. Now, I wouldn't recommend using Drupal 8 beta for anything super serious right now, but if you're a Drupal fan and you want to get a head start on what's happening with Drupal, uh, go ahead and download the beta, check it out. Get, you can start using it and just and see all these new things that are coming that you'll be able to use in production really soon. So check it out. As always, this is Scott Tolinsky. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Facebook or Twitter at, at Level Up Tuts. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.